Ndinke, good morning. <laughs> Happy Sunday, guys. Welcome again to another Oma's Diary section. I am Oma. Just in case you're just strolling by and you popped in here, you're in the right place. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell sign for video alerts whenever I upload. Do you get? So today's video, mm, let's go right into it. This video, it's me showing appreciation to another YouTuber actually um let me just see the story okay a few a month or so yes a month ago i was going through i guess a youtuber i love 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 so much and that's no other person but dima Ume. yes you'll be like well you're into food and she's into skincare or wasarage is that your business <laughs> anyway, so I watched her birthday vlog, which she uploaded on July 8th. Actually, I didn't really have data that day, so I went to a friend's office and then I usually I just download her backlog of videos so I can watch in my spare time. And then I was going through her video that period when I got back home, you know, with all this lockdown and all that. And she did a recipe in her video, by the way. I have learned something from her and she's not even a food um, person per se yeah she just does lifestyle and skincare makeup and all that good stuff so if you're into that please you need to follow her i'm going to put her handles below and also this video that i watched that inspired me to do this video for her i know it's for her but you all can actually learn from this trust me it's an interesting video so um fast forward i watched the video and then i she was making uh, brownies and she wanted to make an ice cream and then she, she was complaining she was looking for condensed milk and i was like oh my goodness so when i love is looking for condensed milk and i have the recipe for how to make your homemade condensed milk yes that is what we are making today do not be deceived by what you're seeing <laughs> so we are making homemade condensed milk today guys this will save you tons of money you know that those store-bought condensed milk then they are small but the money is plenty and sometimes your recipe calls for a particular quantity of um condensed milk so guys you can make your own at home today i'm going to show you how to make it by the way one of the things i said i picked from dima is just you know making your your recipes more precise for people to get the exact results that you got and you would want them to get because just throwing your okra your this your that your that people might not really get the same result as you so i learned that from her and i have started implementing it in all of my videos so with no further ado and plenty talk let us head over to the stove top this recipe calls for just two major ingredients but today i'm going to be adding one little pinch of um, of baking soda it's just something i want to add to it it makes the the end product a bit more fluffier than the results i've always had which is just sugar and milk so let's head over to the stove top like i said it's sunday what are you having today by the way this is bay's dream menu he threw out here so this is what he's going to be having today so let me do this quick so i can attend to the lover boy let's head to the stove top so we have our pot on the fire so basically all we want to do right now is quite pour our milk in by the way um, the measurements for this recipe will be in the description box below so do check it out um, we add our sugar and what you basically want to do is just stir now my heat is on low you're supposed to do this in a like a heavy bottom pan a, a pot or a pan that has like a heavy bottom to prevent it from burning but see my man i ain't gonna come in this country we barely have like a, like good pots um, so this is what i have it's a bit heavy but not so heavy so you need to keep an eye on it and continuously stay it. Oh my goodness, um, the wind outside is disturbing me. Let me 
close it. I don't know why it feels like Christmas today. <laughs> it's not sunny, it's not raining, it's just a perfect weather. Perfect. It's beautiful. So, you can hear that sound. That's the sound of the sugar on the meat. So we want to make sure it dissolves. And by the way, stirring this way helps you keep it from burning. And then those patches of milk you see, you can see goes on. So it, our sugar is almost melting. So just keep stirring. Okay. So now the sound of the um, sugar has totally disappeared, meaning our sugar has fully melted, dissolved into the meal. So I'm just going to take out my spoon, but I am standing here. Don't move an inch. Ne, move an inch and you spoil this thing. It's very easy. It does not take so much, so this is a sacrifice you pay. And don't forget, it's on low heat. People, low heat. Yeah, so... Don't be in a hurry. Don't put it on high flame. Your milk is just going to scorch and burn. There's a satisfaction that comes with producing what you eat. By the way, there is no preservatives in this. At least you know what you did to get. Mm -hmm. And then one day you might just think it's not important. Then one day you don't have condensed milk available at the moment, and you have sugar and milk at home. You will thank God that Oma did this for you. It's so good, right? Mmm! You milk and sugar would smell so good. See why you need to be here? Or oh, your milk will boil over. Boil over. It will boil over. I see that. If you don't watch it, it will boil over. Boil over. The sugar and the milk is okay. You really don't need the baking soda, but I'm doing this. So if you don't have baking soda, trust me, you still have a very nice um, end result. But I've decided to add a bit of the baking soda for a more fluffier, richer end to get. Keep controlling your heat. If you have a small saucepan like mine and you see the bubbles coming up, you can turn off your heat, turn it back on, do you get so you don't have a mess on your head? Okay. Scoop out as much as I can. Like this. Like this. That's why this is not for 20 minutes yet. Yes. It's looking good already. And it's just for it to simmer down and then reduce in size. So if you have like a cup of milk, you're looking at having about roughly half a cup of um, condensed milk or a bit more. is beginning to come together in my hands it's very velvety smooth and just tasted it too so good yeah, so you want to keep stirring in between just so you don't have any kind of lumps or anything or bone okay, just stir easy to that's all our condensed milk is almost ready but because i want you to have that you know that store bought dark brown looking that is it brownish that's you know that rich color that it has beige like color that it comes with so we're just going to watch it as it boils a bit more so that's why it's still on fire and one thing you need to note is that while you're um, you don't need to allow it to 
get all thick and you know all that you don't need to allow it to get thick on the fire because as it cools down it gets thicker so while it's a little bit light you can turn off your heat and while it's resting in the pot for the main time it will start getting more thicker yeah so that's one thing to note don't forget low heat by like a few points low heat keep stirring and then you do not need to allow it stay on the fire till it gets all thick like the store but you can turn off your heat and then let it sit it will get that thick and even when it gets into your fridge which you can actually keep in your fridge for about um say three to seven days in your fridge so it's very nice. That is if you don't even use it up for and cakes, cakes and ice creams. So I think I'm even going to be making more recipes for you guys how to use your uh, condensed milk. So this is man, yo, this is one of the major major dessert uh, ingredient. A lot of decadent, delicious ingredient we call for condensed milk. So you need this recipe. Don't forget thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment below. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done because our liquid is reducing in size, but I'm just going to give it a bit more time. Okay. About five minutes roughly, and then I'll turn this off. this is so easy even if you don't know how to do anything in the kitchen see this recipe it's quite easy can you see ah, i think i should use um anyway let's keep going but you can see it's beginning to look fluffy in my hands coming together be patient be patient okay i just saw something i think i need to scoop out you can please do scoop, scoop it up you don't want this so we will scoop them out You don't want them. Oh. Did I mention this is full cream milk? So when you're going to buy your milk product, I'm going to show you, I used peak milk. You need a full cream milk, not skimmed milk. Although you can still use that, it's your preference. The fat content is 3.6 gram. Yeah. So you can see the look. It has gotten a bit more darker. I just want it to wait another five minutes and we're done right here. We're done. Please keep standing and don't want it to burn. It's okay. So we keep scooping out any of this that we do not want. Just in case you're in doubt, you can see from the things I've taken out, you see, it's changed. So at this point, we are ready to turn off our heat, our condensed milk. It's ready. You. Okay, just look at that. Just look at that. So when next you want to make this, don't forget. You can make your own homemade condensed milk. My goodness. Okay. So our condensed milk is ready. 
we're just going to allow this sit here and it's going to get cold and i'm going to transfer it into my jar and i'm going to show you what it looks like how easy was that recipe right guys how easy who would have thought like this delicious thing that we used to look at it's this easy I hope you go try it in your kitchen. I hope you found this video useful. So if you loved this recipe and you would love to see more useful and resourceful uh, recipes like this, please do comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Very important. It will help with the engagement. Please, guys, and share my videos. Wouldn't you love to have your family and friends in this family too? So please share the videos to get. Share, 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 share. I can't say it more enough so if you have any requests for videos you would like me to make comment below in the comment box let's all meet there and thank one kata let's talk about videos i could help you out with you know, you know we all learn from each other just like i said i learned something so don't forget to turn on your notification bell subscribe if you have not subscribed and if you made it up to the end of this video be cool subscribe to your girl's channel please i am loyal subscribe this will help me a lot thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed and learned something very useful today now share it to your friends and family i'll see you in our next recipe video take care of yourself and have a blessed week i love you Bye. <laughs>